Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day 5 of Everyday October. So this is the look that I'm creating today. I saw this look on Pinterest. I will put a picture up of the look that I saw on Pinterest. I saw this ages ago and I was like I absolutely need to create that in autumn. Then I decided I was going to post every single day in October and I thought this is the perfect time to try my hand at a few different techniques. I don't have any bronzer on. I have contour on but I don't have any bronzer on. So out of my comfort zone I'm trying loads of different techniques. Everything that I'm using today is drugstore so if you want to see all of the products that I am using and how I created this look and just keep on watching. So to save time I have already done my concealer which is the Lasting Perfection Stretch Concealer and Eyeshadow Primer. I've already put that all over my eyes and I've also done my brows so I feel like I look a little bit crazy. I feel like I look a little bit intense but by the end I know that these brows or I'm hoping that these brows will look like in keeping with the look in the inspiration picture. She has very dark, very glam eyebrows. Strange compliment but we're going with it and this is my version. So I used the XX Revolution Faux Brow, the Elf Wow Brow and like I say the eyeshadow primer which is from Collection. For the eyes I'm going to go in with the Revolution and Soph eyeshadow palette. Now mine is completely broken. Um, I have had this palette for years um, but I still really really like it and I feel like there's two colours in here that will perfectly make that crease tone and then depending on how it looks whether I am messy with it I may cut the crease or I may just go in with the e.l.f. liquid glitter. This is the shade Disco Queen and that is basically the whole eye. It's a very red, warm, bright crease and then the glitter all over the lid and I'm so here for this look. It looks incredible. So I don't know the names of these shades because I've lost the piece of paper but I'm going in with this one on the bottom corner on a small fluffy brush and I'm going to look down into my mirror and start working that through the crease. So I'm really holding quite far back on the brush and I'm keeping my eyes looking down so that I can really get into all of this space here to blend out that shade. And then I can go in, dip in again and start building it up to get more of that intensity nearer the crease. I'm also really working this into like the top of the nose so I can see on the picture that that's like blended into the nose contour. Obviously I haven't got the base makeup on yet so I can't like do the nose contour yet but I can eventually join all of that up together so I'm putting down not any colour, I'm just using the brush um, when I haven't got any extra colour on it and I'm putting it right in there. So it looks crazy at the minute, but it's the process, okay? Then I'm going in with this chocolatey rich brown shade on the same brush. And I'm just going to keep that a lot tighter towards the crease, just to add more of that like brownie shade. And I will leave in the description box the names of all of the shades that I'm using. So I'm just working in light layers and building up that color where it's the most intense right at that crease and all the way along as well not just keeping that on the outer corner it's really intense like even on the inner corner but right in the crease not blending out this brown shade too much and then I'm just going in with a fluffy brush without any product on it and blending the top edge out and then I'm just taking a small amount of this warm brown on the bottom row and I'm going to keep that on the outer corner still just working in the crease and I don't want to take away the red I just want it a little bit darker okay so I'm happy with how all of that is blended together I'm happy with 
the shades and everything in the crease and I'm going to go in with a flat brush and my eyeshadow primer and just tidy up that little line a little bit. Obviously I don't need it like all over the lid, I managed to keep that quite clear. So that is roughly the shape we're going for. Again, I feel like that outer corner is throwing me off a bit. <laughs> like, look at the shape I've made there. It might look okay by the end. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter in the shade Disco Queen. And I've had to like take the stopper out the end of this because I'm getting right to the end of it. But I'm going to basically just draw this, like slap it all over my lid. <laughs> Technical term. And I don't have to like worry about fallout with these, which is why I love them so much. And they're like incredibly intense. And normally I would like lay this down and then blend it out. But I want that to stay that really icy, intense silver. <gasps> I love this look already. So now that that glitter is on there, I just want to go back over with the very red shade on, I suppose this is like a liner brush, and I just want to intensify that colour right at the join, and then just going over with that first fluffy brush to blend that out. So I'm going to go in with a tiny little bit of black liquid liner and just do a tiny little wing nothing too dramatic less than what I normally do this is the L'Oreal black lacquer liquid liner and I'm just going to do a tiny little wing so I just squiggled a little bit along the tight line on the top lashes with this pencil which is the essence long-lasting eye pencil in 01 black fever and now I'm going to go on to the face so I'm just going to not that I think there is any fallout, but just in case, I'm going to just do that. And then onto the base. So I'm starting with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I'm going to just scoop up a little bit of this and start working that sort of down the centre of the face because honestly her skin is just incredible. And I have absolutely no doubt in the world that it is like edited and all of that stuff but if I can help <laughs> get that super flawless skin then I'm going to. So I'm doing a few extra steps today that I don't normally do but I'm hoping that it turns into a really sort of seamless skin and I'm also trying to make like a conscious effort to not use the e.l.f. halo glow in every single video because I'm sure that will get boring. I mean, as it is, I have to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow in every single video. So if I can switch up the primer as well, just to, you know, to spice things up a bit for you. <laughs> One product that is absolutely non-negotiable, if I'm going full glam, it's got to be this foundation, the Revolution IRL. I wear this in the shade F3 and I'm taking one pump on the back of my hand with the Real Techniques Seamless Complexion Brush and I'm just going to start buffing that in. I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer, just a tiny bit here. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair 5, and I just want, boop, those bits covered. <laughs> and then I'm just going in with that fluffy brush so that that concealer doesn't make any lines on that inner corner area. I'm going to start bringing that colour a tiny bit down the nose. Obviously, like, the contour is going to go into that as well. And for contour, I'm going in with this one, which is the Collection Gorgeous Glow Contour Stick. And I'm going to just take this on a brush and I'm going to keep it just in the very hollow of the cheek. I'm not going to bring it too far forwards because her skin doesn't look, I keep on looking down because I actually have the picture in front of me, her skin doesn't look too like bronzy, I feel like there's more blush than anything, but I mean she's definitely got banging cheekbones. I'm going to go in with a little bit of putty blush from e.l.f and this is the shade Tahiti and I'm going to add quite a bit of this 
like I say, she looks quite blushy. I feel like the look can get away with it with the amount of like pink and red that we've got on the eye. So I'm almost like mixing that blush in with the contour and I'm also bringing it slightly further forward than what I normally do. So I normally keep it like quite far back and quite high up but I feel like I need it further in with the lack of bronzer that I've got on. I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. This is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. I have this in the shade Warm Beige and I'm going to just use a really big fluffy brush and set down everything. I'm going to add a tiny little bit more like contour. So this is the Maybelline City Bronzer. I'm just going to tap in really lightly and just build up that definition back there. Yes, that looks better. And with that City Bronzer, I'm going to use a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to tap in lightly and just contour right at the top of my nose and blend it into that inner corner. Those red tones that we've got like at the top of the nose, blend the contour into that. And then we can finish up under the eyes. So going back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go in with, mm, going to go in with the red, the pinkier red shade, and I'm going to buff that close in to the lash line all the way along. And then when I haven't got as much on the brush, I'm going to buff over that line just to soften that where we cleaned up with the micellar water I want it to still be quite rounded and then dipping into that browner shade that we put on the outer corner and keeping that on the outer corner of the lower lash line just to make it look more cohesive I'm going to go in with that Essence pencil again the black one and go along the lower waterline and I'm also like running this like where the lashes actually come out at the lower lash line so more like along the front a little bit if that makes any sense and then going back in with that brush to just soften the edge of that black for mascara i'm going in with the maybelline lash sensational because her lashes on the picture they don't actually look too like thick like I with this look if I was doing this I would go in with like the elf big mood I would make really thick black chunky lashes but hers are more sort of wispy and thin so I suppose that works because you can still see the colour through but I'm going to add quite a few layers of this I do still want very long volumised thick lashes but not as clumpy as maybe I would go for with the e.l.f. Big Mood. So that's the mascara done. And lastly, for the eyes, I feel like she's got an inner corner highlight, something quite icy. So I'm going in with the Soph Revolution highlight palette and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that lightest shade right in there. And if you're new around here, then hello, welcome. My name is Millie. I'm addicted to wing liner and an inner corner highlight. Welcome. <laughs> so that is the eyes completely done. I am so happy with how all of that is looking. So for the lips, it has to be this one, doesn't it? This is the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade I Am Worth It. Yesterday's video was all about my favourite autumnal lipsticks and this just has to be my perfect classic red. I absolutely love it at this time of year. I dig this out every single year. I use it all year round, but in autumn especially, I wear this pretty much every single day. I'm going to just swipe this all over the lips and then we should be done. I'll um, sort my hair out. <laughs> I feel like this is potentially Mm, yeah, I feel like this is a little bit bright, so I've just brought this over. The Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is in the shade Make It Happen, and this is a little bit more plummy. I'm just going to try and tap a little bit of this over, like, the outside, and 
hopefully blend it in a little bit yes I feel like that is just a little bit almost like vampire a little bit deeper and more like plummy so I feel like that goes more with the colour that we've got on the eyes yeah I'm happy so I think just a tiny little bit more blush because I always like to add blush at the end and then I think I will probably be done yes that is me done I feel like the lack of bronzer is throwing me off but also I'm loving it like the amount of blush the amount of red the amount of like pink in the eyes I feel like this is so out of my comfort zone like I don't think I've ever done a look like this before where I've got quite an intense eye and quite an intense lip but I'm here for it let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you have any other looks that you've seen on Pinterest then please send them over to me on Instagram I have a few others that I'm going to be doing this month but I do also do these not for October I have a whole playlist where I like recreate Pinterest makeup looks using drugstore makeup so if that's something that you want to see then I will link the playlist up here I hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here you can subscribe and then you'll get a little notification every time I post a new video if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up but until next time Thank you so much for watching. Bye.